Plaintiff William Cross was addicted to crack for 20 years, but he got sober after going to Narcotics Anonymous. William started dating the defendant after they met in N.A., but they broke up after the defendant falsely accused him of assault. He's suing for a security deposit and furniture. Defendant Mary Pulley says 60 days into their relationship, William became physically abusive, and that's why she broke up with him. Mary claims after William assaulted her, the police made him leave her home, and she denies owing him for anything. Start with you. Well, uh, Your Honor, I thought I found the lover, but I was only kidding myself. By the time I learned the truth about it, she actually had someone else. You know, um, we actually, uh, we met in the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous. Uh, after 20 years of drug addiction, I figured I was an addict and I didn't have it. I went to go try to get some help for myself, and lo and behold, there was somebody beautiful. So I approached her, asked her out to, to dinner. It was me and her from that day on. I mean, Your Honor, we hit it off hard. We was fornicating somebody. You have a pimp or something in the street? <laughs> Your Honor, I don't know nothing about that. Okay. But, but I, I, I well, have You been, were just a dope fiend. You didn't even get no I, money, I didn't no have real a, money. The, the, the crack was the pimp, sir. Let's keep it real. Okay. You're a crackhead, but you were you a pimp before then? No, I, I don't know nothing about that. Okay. Well, you act like you got pimp mannerisms. That's do, all. Do I now? Huh? Oh, okay. You talk like a pimp. You got pimp mannerisms, all okay. that. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I got it right well, well, there. Well, uh, well, I know it. I grew up around then, pimps. Right? I saw a pimp every day of my life okay. up until okay. age 18. Okay. Every day. Okay. Go ahead. So that's okay. what I'm well, saying. Well, it sounds like this pimp got tricked by ex ho Yeah, it sounds like it. A lot of them do. <laughs> a lot of them do. Okay. Ultimately, when they lead the game, they forget the game. <laughs> they drop their books, they lose their lesson. Okay. All right. All you right. You want to kick it? We can All kick right. the pimp game. <laughs> I believe I can out talk pimp game with okay. you. Okay. Okay. Defendant Mary Pulley dated the plaintiff, but she claimed she broke up with him after he assaulted her. All right, let me hear from you. You met this gentleman where, and how did you all proceed? I met him in the rooms of recovery. He pursued me and pursued me. He even asked my girlfriend to get me to go out with him. I broke it off with William because he's too aggressive, and put your hands on me, that's a no-no. How long were you all dating before he put his hands on you? 60 days. Mm -hmm. What happened? Um, I was talking to the landlord um, because I had asked William to leave because he told me he was unhappy. So I said, if you're so unhappy, then find you someplace else to be happy. Because mm -hmm. you cannot be happy with somebody else in my house. That's right. Go ahead. So. But you ought to have just a shake. At that time, she ain't spent not one red nickel on rent. Not a nickel. Not a penny. Not a dime. Because right. he told me I have to. Right. I he know. told me I have to. He said, keep your money, I got it. Now you admit, I, I, you I admit it to being a trick. Now be quiet. <laughs> you admit it to going from pimp to trick. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so after that, I was talking to the landlord because I had I gave William 30 days to move. And he was around there acting like he wasn't looking for no place. He was study following up behind me, talking about, you know what I mean it. Why, tell me about out. tell me about the assault. It was when you asked him to leave. I was talking to the landlord, uh -huh. and I was letting the landlord know that William would no longer be resident mm -hmm. in their apartment, and he snatched my phone aggressively out my ear, and we wrestling for my phone, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't give it to me. He talking to the landlord, telling him this his money and this his house and all that. How did it end? I called the police and they escorted him out because he did stay there. Good. But he came back in and finished his little 30 days out because he refused to leave. No, I did not get no 30 days. Okay. That, that, that's, that's so it. he ran up on me. So you gonna pay me a thousand dollars? This is the second I moved. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this all you happened. You gonna run in one up? Night. And he this ran up on me. This all happened in one incident. She said it was the second instance. Go ahead. He ran up on me and said, "You gonna pay me a thousand dollars if you want me out of here? I said, mm -hmm. I'm not giving you nothing, mm -hmm. and you leave it." Okay. All right. Now, tell me about uh, the security deposit and the furniture you're suing for. Well, Your Honor, uh, I actually, as she stated, I did pay the, I paid, what, July's rent? No, it was April. No, no, H here's the, this is the, the, the check right here, but the, the rent was only $500. The uh, security, the, the check was for 2000 
You said you are suing for a security deposit uh, yeah, and the cost of furniture. You have the security deposit evidence? This, 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 this is the $500? This is the $2,000, the 500 is into the 2000 What was the other 1500 for? That was for May's, June, and July's rent okay. that I paid. Okay. Okay, and then this is the furniture right here, right here. Uh, Okay, he okay. did write a check, ma'am, $2,000. Yes, he did. And he gave okay. it to me because he said. I, had, I was working that day. No, he wasn't right not here. working. You he went see, to. This, this, is my, this is my work schedule. Mm -hmm. The day of the 15th. Did the police escort you out? Oh, yes, they did. Why? Because she, they asked me to just leave because she was hysterical saying that I was putting, I didn't put hands on that girl. Mm -hmm. We did wrestle for the phone, but I did not put hands on her. You want to have a police report? No. Uh, I have okay. a, no. I have, a, and there's no, there's no incidents like that. All I have is this here. Where I came to get my, to get my stuff, she wouldn't give it to me, so I had to call the police in order to get. You it. see that? But regarding that incident when they yeah. came out, where yeah. she alleged you assaulted her, there's yeah. no report. Yeah, that's all right there. This is the incident yeah. when they came out. Yes. As a result of her call. Yes. And please don't make me read all this and this now, because that's not what you just said. No, no that, that's actually when I called them to pick up my furniture. Right. Yeah. Let me just get an agreement here so uh, y'all don't think I'm wrong. Per people who use it, I've seen a thousand times, just like I've seen a thousand pimps. People who use crack for over 10, 20 something years, even when they stop, don't you all agree they have a different personality? Yes. Than they did, even after they stopped. It's a different personality. It's called crackish ways. <laughs> he grinning. He didn't know what I'm talking about, man. So why y'all bring this to me? If you go if an ex crack addict or recovering addict, that's what I'll call you. If you've been recovering, if if you did 20 years of crack, don't come here. I don't feel like dealing with your crackish ways. You're going to act just like a crackhead. <laughs> you must didn't do 20 years of it. How many um, you did? I did about 15. See, you But did. I'm 10 years clean. It don't matter how long you clean. You know once you're doing it that long, your mind has, yes. your whole mind has been yes. changed and altered. Yes, it All has. right, and that's what I'm getting from him. All this looking through the papers and saying one thing and meet the other. <laughs> crackish ways. Okay. Okay. Pimpish ways I mixed with, it. hey, I that's pimp it. mixed with crack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, okay. my man. So this is evidence, <laughs> this is evidence of them escorting you out. Do you have anything regarding the security deposit, anything that says 500? No, that, it's all into that 2000. All right, you included everything yeah. in here. Defendant Mary Pulley dated the plaintiff, but she claimed she broke up with him after he assaulted her. What do you say to the furniture and the security deposit? I say this. He took me to the furniture store. He said, pick what you want. When it came for the receipt, he said, sign the receipt. It's your furniture. And that's what I did. The receipt right here. I see the lease door. right here. Everything's in my name. And I'm so saying first. they were gifts. They were gifts. Sir, what do you say to that? She shows evidence, she says, indicating everything is in her name. If you look on the receipt, the, the day that it was supposed to have been delivered, right there was just the 15th. If you look here, I was planning to be in Missouri on the 15th. So I asked her, this is my work schedule here. On the 15th, I was uh, took off of work and to go to Missouri. So I had her to sign for it because I, was gonna, I wasn't going to be in the state. I signed the receipt in the furniture store. Sir? I'm said I I she I told her because she, she was gonna be the one who to receive the furniture. So I was leaving. I wasn't gonna be in town. You were paid by credit card ahead of time or something. I paid. No, or you I, gave I it had, to her. I uh, know. I I I had a credit card. I put five hundred dollars down, uh -huh. and then I went and bought eighteen hundred, paid that, and then went to the bank for the furniture. Yeah, for the furniture. All right. And the day they delivered it, is that what you're saying? She signed it. No, she signed it, it when we was in the furniture store. I told her to sign for it because you were was, right there with her. Yeah, but I didn't give it to her. I just told so her why didn't you receiving. sign it? Yeah, I guess my crackers way has got me again. Your crackers <laughs> way. <laughs> See, and that's the problem. No, no. That's the problem because crackheads are uh, uh, slicker than anybody. You know, your problem was you were a pimp too long and you didn't know the criminal game. 
you'd known the criminal game, you'd have known how to get out of it. And you'd have known what to say. You didn't know what to say. But I did not give it to her, Your Honor. I just told her. That's why when pimps go to court, they all get convicted. (laughs) They don't know what to say. Um, and excuse me, the day I signed that lease, he went at work. He went to St. Louis with his brother to buy some illegal cigarettes to bring them back here to sell in the stove. <laughs> That's why he wasn't there to, sell, to sign the lease. That's why. That's illegal, but it does amuse me to hear the game go down. <laughs> so... Sir, she has proven to me you got this. I believe you gave it to her as gifts. Like you referred to yourself as a trick. I believe she tricked you. (laughs) I have to go with the law. The law has it all in her name. I can't go against evidence that proves what she says. She says you gave her the furniture as a gift. That's why she signed her name, because it was hers. Same with the deposit here. I have to go with what's in front of my eyes, sir. And you ain't no good pimp no more. You done drop your books, lost your lesson. <laughs> you know the name of the game is cop and blow. You done blew. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. Good riddance.